What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be playing Alan Wake 2 again, and this is part three of me playing it. So if you're gonna enjoy this, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. So now we're playing as Saga Anderson, and in the last video, we got Alan Wake back. Like, I don't know how we got him back, but we got him back. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to go here. Yep. So we're supposed to like find some clues. And the only thing I found here is a dead deer. R.I.P. Bambi. Anyways. Let's just go here. Okay, so I think it's here. I tried looking at a video on how to do it, but I don't think I found the right video. But I did saw this in the video. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Let me try again. Alright. Alright. Oh, well, that was easy. Ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Hmm. Well, this is going to be a very serious case. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay, so this another page. Oh. 
Where is he? Trying to follow the movements. Oh, Smilla! Even the animals are turning into monsters. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go back here. Okay, okay, I looked on YouTube on what to do next and we should go back Like back to the car And I and also we have to go here Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. <laughs> Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake did. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the Anymore. movies. does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? Oh 
Okay, let's go back to the car. Back to Bright Falls. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Hmm. <laughs> Drink coffee at the same time. like us to reach out to mr wake you've been gone a long time no no they'd be in danger it'll come for me okay let's talk about something else right. robert nightingale do you know him you were both here in 2010 uh -huh. the dark presence got him back then that's the last time i saw him 13 years uh, yes. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Are you about to play as Alan Wake? This happened in Alan Wake. Up, oh, we're gonna play as him. Up. Oh. Show for you here tonight. Alan 
Late night. Oh, fuck. Was I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Alright, let's do this. There I am! Live action version. <laughs> this reminds me of Jimmy Fallon because he has a show like this and band and you know. Exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the. You do know the old god of Asgard is a real band? We've all been dying to know what And you know that those are actually real people? Yeah, I've saw them in the game awards I react. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A, a, an auto fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> you got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Uh. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. Exactly. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? It looks like it. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. Oh. <gasps> uh. 
Hello? This is what it's like, huh? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Yes. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Damn it, what, what is the code? <clears throat> Gods of Asgard. Six six five. Familiar. Six six five, I think. Oh, what do you know? What was that? A message? Impossible to say. Oh. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Oh, 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 oh. Place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days. This was the final part from the from the first Alan Wake, and I need to get the hell out of here. I couldn't leave. This wasn't the way out. <sighs> Hold on. What about here? A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I have written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Yeah. That was the point in the ending from Alan Wake 1. He has to finish the story. Up, oh, we're back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Damn right, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best selling writer, the books, the films. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Yeah. He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. 
I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window. My own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> what about here? Let's see what we got. Oh, this is just the same. What's the code then? Hold on. Where am I going to find the code? Hold on. Okay, so the safe code, actually the door code is six five six actually five six five i think hold on let me try there you go oh Tom, 
Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. I'm not Tom. Uh -huh. Oh, good, I'm not. Oh. Check the map. Hold on one second. Okay. Then I think I should talk hey, to him. I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up go, a man's a man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with the tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Oh, thank you. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So, don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Box. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light Whoa. jumped into my lamp. The whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay, all right, I think I got it.
Okay, I'm supposed to go back to the basement. That's what I looked up on YouTube. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. End of part. I'm still gonna continue this until it hits an hour. New milestone reach. Trophy leveled up. Okay. Okay, here. Oh. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Subway pass. said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. So follow the lights, I guess. The Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. I'm lost.
It was locked from the other side. Oh, look over there. Okay, this is weird. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, hmm. looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? No! Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. Scary. I remember dying in this alley in a dream. Oh, God! Just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Find the light, and I did. Now I got a gun. This was an I'm back. The books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Did I just walk a big circle? Not shit. With the alley in darkness now, lest the shadows block my way.
shadows faded out. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. But they got it right back. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Okay, let's use that. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Uh, that was pointless. Let's try that. Uh, I guess I hold on let me see what we get when we go here because that's not a subway but let's let's at least see what I earn what I can get since I'm here I need more batteries. Okay, I can't go through here. Okay, I gathered two lights. The dark place wouldn't let me go that way. I can't see. Oh! I have any battery.
Okay. Well, I shouldn't go there. I think one life. Where do I go? Where the hell do I go? Oh good, uh, a ladder. in here damn it I walked the circle Okay, where do I even go? Hold on. Okay, I think I think I figured it out. But first, I need to go here so I can get some equipment. Because I looked in YouTube again and Gates to the platform were closed. Oh, I, I guess you're. It. Oh, whoops. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. was here a vision about to reveal itself I needed to look at it from the right angle
Okay, I think. Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together. Write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. Continued deeper into darkness. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. There. Another place to use in this story. Col I needed to search the tunnels tunnel. for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had a new idea for a scene. <laughs> I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. <laughs> story beat fit the story perfectly.
Perhaps your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. I'm lost in my Sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake, their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. It's bad luck to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Changed. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. Bathroom break. Alright guys, I'm back from my back bathroom break. Now first, I need to go back from here. There we go. I was making my way All right, to now the story. I need to follow the V or that light. The other light. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Someone was humming. Was it worth the risk to go see who? I think it was.
Hello. Oh, hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. You're making a map. I'm trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light. But never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Yeah, thanks, uh. Well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. See you around, Alan. Yeah, see you around. All right, now let's try to go back. I don't think this is what I remember from the video. Take this. Go back here. Was here for a reason. It had a role to play. Oh, I have a... I had a new location for the story. Anyone there? Dead. Damn it. The plot changes shaped the world around me. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Gasoline and Wait, hold on, let me see if I can do this.
Nope. Yeah, he definitely can do that. up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. Nope. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. found would drive the story forward. A sick and twisted story. Wait, on, what, what's still in here? The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. Okay, okay. No door does not work, so let's go in here. That's a lot of... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, this is definitely reminding me of The Last of Us. I agree. I definitely agree. Oh my god. This is the best game I ever played. that part of it? Nope, it wasn't. Oh. Um. Over here. 
I think that's the way to go, but now I just want My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. See what this is. Okay, well, I'm now stuck here, so. I think I'm probably going to end the video here. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in part four. Bye-bye.